What is up you guys, it is Joshua Garrett here. I am back with a very special announcement. Today, May 19th, 2017, marks the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel. That's right, and to celebrate, I have gathered all of my Thomas Wooden Railway items from my very own collection video. Why am I doing this? Or, well, I should say, why did I decide to do this for my one year anniversary video? Um, quite honestly, the, the simple answer is just I simply didn't know what to do, what else to do. Um, I remember receiving a comment from my, um, Hornby uh, collection video requesting that I do a uh, Thomas Wooden Railway collection video, and I thought, hey, why not? I mean, this should definitely, I mean, many, I'm sure many people out there would like to see my collection. So, um, well, well, let me say this. In all honesty, today, right now, the day that I'm actually filming this is not actually May 19th. It's actually May 14th. The reason why I'm filming this, um, making this video ahead of time is because on May 19th, I'm actually going to be um, heading to King's Dominion, and I'm going to be way too busy to uh, make a video because I won't be back to like, like late at night. So, but I will have enough time to upload the video. Um, Fortunately, so I thought I might as well go ahead and make it ahead of time. Not that it really matters that much. So, um, on to the collection video. As you can see here, I have all my Thomas Wooden Railway items. Well, these aren't all my Wooden Railway items. I also have um, custom Wooden Railway items along with some extra Wooden Railway items that aren't really Thomas-based but are from like other companies such as Brio. Um, yeah, that, that, that's really the only Wooden Railway... Um, collection I got. I also have people. I also have some custom models. Some have been finished. Some of them have not. Um, don't ask. I'm not actually going to complete these because, well, quite honestly, I, I think it's pretty much, they're pretty much dead, basically. And I also have an Ertl collection. Now, um, why am I bringing this Ertl collection out? Um, I just thought, you know, why not? This is, I thought it'd be nice to show you guys that, um, my Ertl collection. I actually do like Ertl. Um, I've never actually bought one from a store when I, well, my parents have never bought me one when I was a kid because by the time I was born, it was just sort of the time where Brit Allcroft was beginning to fade or I should say, um, quit and, um, Hit Entertainment came into view and, um, that's when they discontinued Ertl and started making Take and Play. And I do have a lot of Tank and Play toys. However, I'm not going to review them. Don't ask me to do so because quite honestly... I'm just not a fan of Take and Play. Quite honestly, I just think that the toys are very low quality, and honestly, I'm better off spending my money on something else. So without further ado, let's begin. So first we have 1992 Thomas, Thomas, Winter Wonderland Thomas, 1996 Edward, um, New Style Edward, and by New Style, I mean CGI Edward. We have 1992 Henry, Henry, 1992 Gordon, 1992 James, and James, who um, I modified um, about a few years ago. I wanted to make this James look like the old style James by um, sawing off the uh, uh, load of coal right here with a filer. As you can see, it still has the... Um, the uh, name of the item printed under it, but I mean, oh well. So, let me start again. We have 1992 Percy, 1994 Percy, 2001 Percy, which has a uh, chipped roof. We also have a regular Percy. Then we have another regular Percy. Now, this Percy has puzzled me for a long time. If you notice, it has gold magnets. And it says Percy, but then it has a picture of Thomas with um, what appears to be sound waves coming out of it. I thought this Percy was supposed to make sound, but it's just plain wood. Um, I can't remember exactly where I got it from. I think I may have gotten it in a gift pack with a DVD. Yeah, they used to sell those. However, I don't think they do it anymore. But I mean, I don't know. Just something to think about. And the last of our Percy's we have is Jack Frost Percy. I actually have a lot of Percy's. I, I have six of them. Very interesting. But now let's move on to 1992 Toby, 1994 Toby, 
and new style Toby or CGI Toby. Now we have um, 1994 Duck, 2000 Duck, 1994 Donald, 1992 Douglas, and we also have another Douglas but without the tender. Now, I actually like the 1992 Douglas better. I don't know why, but I like the yellow lining. Um, Donald, the 1992 Donald is actually very rare. Um, if you ever find one on eBay, most likely they'll probably cost a ton. Moving on to 1994 Oliver. And then we have another Oliver, which is like the 2003 Oliver. Now, as you can see, it's in pretty rough condition. However, this Oliver is very special to me. All, this Oliver, quite honestly, I'd go so far as to say this Oliver is probably the oldest top, well, I wouldn't say oldest, but probably the first Thomas Wooden Railway item that I ever got. Um, maybe not even that. I mean, maybe it's just the Wooden Railway um, train that I've had the longest in my childhood. I wouldn't say it's the first because, quite honestly, I cannot remember. But um, it's definitely special to me. Even though I got it replaced with a newer Oliver, I still always keep this Oliver because it's very important to me. I've had it for at least 11 years. Ironic because... He has number 11 printed on his side tanks. Moving on to uh, Devious Diesel. This is the 2000 Diesel or Old Style Diesel. You have 1992 Bill, 1992 Ben, Mavis, who basically lost her entire black coat, and I got a Sharpie marker and uh, repainted her black. We have 1992 Boko, Murdoch, Arthur, Dennis, Diesel 10, without his claw, I pulled it out. This is the... Um, I believe it's the 2003 one. Yeah, it is, because you can see it has the uh, diesel locomotive there. We have a 1996 D199, Fergus, and Rosie. I really do not like Rosie that much. Quite honestly, I don't even know why she exists in the Thomas and Friends series. Now she only makes cameos and never, ha never ha has had a real speaking role. But thanks to Andrew Brenner, he's been focusing more on bringing back old characters like Donald, Duckless, Duck, Oliver, which is really good. Now let's move on to the narrow gauge characters. As you can see here, we have new style slash CGI Scar Lowy. We also have um, a much older version of Scar Lowy. This is like the 2003 version. I remember buying this in a um, DVD pack, similar to the Oliver. We also have 1997 Reneus. 1997, um, Sir Handel. 1994, I believe. Let me check the date. Uh, I believe it says 1990. Yep, 1994, Peter Sam. We also have regular Peter Sam. Now, this Peter Sam, I've probably had just as long as the Oliver. I don't think as long, but it's definitely special. We have, um, 1996, Rusty. New Style Duncan. Mighty Mac, who is actually faced backwards. It's usually Mighty that comes first. And Smudger. Now we're going to move on to Coaches and Rolling Stock. We have 1992 Annie. 1992 Clarabelle. Um, Annie, Clarabelle, and 1992 Henrietta. We also have a 1992 um, Napford Express Coach. We have a 1996 Napford Express Coach. And we have a 1997 Nafford Express coach. Now, um, I'm just going to have to move over because I'm having to stretch a long way in order to reach it with the camera. This Express coach um, was probably one of the first. Um, it was made in 1997. I think at some point during that year, they switched it so that, um, so that it now has stronger magnets and uh, better wheels. I actually like these wheels better. I don't know why. They just look more like train wheels to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just simply because it's vintage. But now moving on to um, some more rolling stock. We have the 1994 Troublesome Truck. 1996 Scruffy. 1997 Toad. This one also has the stronger magnets. Uh, more rounder wheels. And it actually faces forward. As you can see here. If I were to put it backwards... It wouldn't work that well. We also have the CGI um, Troublesome Truck. Another CGI Troublesome Truck. And two CGI Troublesome Trucks that are actually sound activated. 
So yeah, um, I never, I never got the older versions of these, but I'm still glad that they um, made these. I've had these for like three years now. So, 2000 um, soda fuel tanker. We also have a milk tanker. I don't know what year it's from, but it's probably from the newer series, considering the fact that it has the name printed on there. 1994 caboose, another 1994 um, brake van, I should say. Then we have the breakdown train, which actually um, comes from two different years. The flatbed is a newer version, but the crane is actually an older version. I don't know what year it's from. By looking at it, it appears to be made in 1997. I bought this off eBay, used, so, but I don't really care. And then we have a aquarium car. Um, I don't have the shark one, but I do have the octopus one. Quite honestly, I really don't know why they decide to keep this one up. Um, they're making aquarium cars now, which are probably a little worse, but I mean, it's a wooden railway item, so I might as well include it. So that concludes my, um, setup of Thomas Wooden Railway items. Now we're going to move on to the custom locomotives. Well, rolling stock. Um, well, I do have custom locomotives, but I'll get to those in a minute. So we have two custom troublesome trucks made out of Lego brick. I um, printed out a troublesome truck face, then I glued them on to these spare um, bodies, or bogies, truck bogies, I guess you could call it, with wheels. Now we have two custom troublesome brake vans, which were made by um, two coaches of another train that I have, which I will get to in a minute. We have a Sodor um, male caboose, completely custom made and made out of Lego brick. Um, this used to be the body of the Chinese Dragon. This was the, um, newer version of the Chinese Dragon, not the older one. Since I'm not really a huge fan of the Chinese Dragon, just simply because it's not, like, a, a regular form of rolling stock, I just simply decided to just cut off the body completely and turn it into something useful, like a Sodor Mail Coach. That way I don't have to spend, like, 40-something dollars on an old version of the Mail Coach, which I would like to have, but, of course, it's not possible. Um, we also have some two express coaches. One thing that I found very interesting is that they're both printed old slow coach. I mean, that's not supposed to be right. Probably a factory error. I did buy these overseas in Japan, so, yeah, I, I guess it's just a mess up in their port. For some reason, Wooden Railway never made green coaches. That would have been a great thing. Even with the old style Napford Express coaches, they only made it red, and I just thought, why not go ahead and paint these green? Keep the, the vintage Napford Express coaches the way they are. Next, we have a custom tar tanker. It doesn't actually have tar on it, so it can be a tar tanker, oil tanker, or anything like that. I just got a uh, Bachman cream tanker that I had collected a long time ago. Um, basically sawed it off and placed it onto an old truck bogey. Then we have another troublesome truck. It's completely painted black. Similar to uh, the Bachman Troublesome Truck that you saw in my uh, Hornby slash Thomas collection video. Um, the bottom is Donald's Tender. This is not the 1996 Donald's Tender. No, no, this is something different. So, we finished on custom uh, rolling stock. Let's now move to uh, cut, um, some additional uh, wooden railway items. We have... Um, Quite honestly, I don't really know what to call these. We do have some two um, inner city 132 locomotives, or diesel locomotives. We got another big diesel with two coaches. I don't know if they're supposed to go with that, but since they're both painted yellow, I might as well put them together. Then we just have some regular road vehicles, uh, as you can see here. Now this locomotive right here, the um, the um, troublesome brake van. Um, Customs were actually used to be the two coaches for this train as you can see um, They're very similar if you put them next to each other You can tell that they have the same wheels and basically the same body structure So yeah, just something very interesting to look at now. Let's move on to people. I Don't really have that many people. I have the family of four um, the wife does have a little bit of damage. The back is torn off. And then we have Sir Topham Hat and a Workman. These were all made in 1994. You can tell because one, the Workman and the Fat Controller have the uh, date on them. 
I'll zoom in. All right, well, camera's not zooming. Trust me on this, it's 1994. And um, they also have the stickers as the faces. The newer versions, or the newer slash older versions of them um, have it printed on there. Now let's move on to some custom locomotives. Now, these aren't all custom locomotives. Some of them are just like for spares um, because, um, like uh, take this Edward for example. He doesn't have a tender. I, I only have the Edward body. I've seemed to misplace it. So it's basically like a spare. I have another um, 1994 Edward. However, you can tell that it's in very bad condition. And when I got this, it didn't even come with a tender. So I never use it. It's why I got the 1996 Edward. It was to replace this one. We also have um, Henry with his uh, face cut off. We have Blue Henry from the Railway Series. This is a 1994 Gordon, Gordon um, locomotive body. The entire running board here was missing, so I repainted it a long time ago. And um, basically cut off the face and added in a Henry right here. Now we have um, Gordon. This is the uh, 2001 Gordon, or is it? Yeah, it's the 2001 Gordon with his face cut off. We have James. Um, its funnel is missing. And the tender doesn't even match up with the locomotive in terms of the year because it has its name printed under here. I don't know what year this James was made. Quite honestly, I don't care enough to know. And then we have my last custom locomotive, which is probably the most interesting of all of them. This used to be a 1994 James, however, um, so that um, after the movie um, The Adventure Begins was released, I really did not want to buy the new James, because quite honestly, I thought it'd be better if I bought this, because it didn't have the number 5 on it. So I just completely painted it black, and um, it's basically stayed that way. And the last, but not least, we have my Erdo collection. We have um, Edward, Gordon, Henry. This is the older version of Henry, as you can see, because it has the paper face. Bill, Rusty, and the three lorries. Um, I really don't like the idea that they gave made this lorry look like he was in a car accident. Because, I mean, I just wanted to keep things regular. I'm more basic. I'm not usually for the whole uh, special effects kind of thing, even though I do think it's very clever. But it would have been nice for them to make just a regular Lori one. Then we have Bachman, Birdie the Bus. Now, hold on a minute. He's not Ertl. Why is he here? Well, the only reason why this Birdie is here is because I actually forgot to include him into my um, Bachman video. Um, I, I, I didn't think about him because, one, he wasn't around. I misplaced him. And two, um, I didn't acknowledge the fact that even though he was a road vehicle, he was still part of the Bachman range. Maybe I did include him. I can't quite remember if I included him. If I did include him, then my apologies. I have... I'm kind of dyslexic. dyslexic, <laughs> but, but, but not really. So that basically includes um, my, this entire uh, video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, again, I just want to thank all of you for your continued support. Thank you for all of those who have subscribed to me, um, it really means a lot. Quite honestly, um, I wish I could make more videos for you all, but you know the Lord just has is just guiding me in a different direction right now, and you know I'm just still trying to figure things out. I'm gonna be heading off to college soon. I'm gonna be graduating even sooner, and um, I'm basically gonna do at least one more video. Be um before um, the near future so I don't know what's to expect but right now I just want to thank you all for your continued support and um, continue to subscribe continue to like continue to comment dislike if you want to I mean I appreciate honesty so this is Joshua Garrett now signing off saying goodbye and as always thank you for watching